Hello guys, um, I want to talk to you today about having dominion. Now, having dominion is a very godly thing because God created us to have dominion. He said to Adam in the Garden of Eden to make, to uh, multiply and to replenish the earth. Now, um, what did God have in mind when he actually thought of Adam multiplying and replenished the earth. Well, he basically told Adam to have as many children as he possibly could. And I personally believe that the earth is not even at a quarter of its capacity populated. And the earth has so much vast resources to, f to even make every single person on the earth a millionaire. Or even many times over a millionaire and more than that because God did not think small when he created the earth even the earth uh, in its fallen state as it is right now is still vastly more capable of providing for our needs and replenishing its um, sustenance for us than we actually realize now we think that when the right and the capitalists and all those take control of the government and we will not have enough to go around and we try to fight over small change when God has actually got so much more for us in store we get so distracted about small battles that we actually miss out on the big things that God has in store for our lives and Satan often gets it right to derail us from our purposes and plans that God has in for, for us. We get distracted over little things like politics. While God has actually called us to rule and reign, have dominion and to multiply and fill and replenish the earth. And we get drawn in by fear tactics of people that speak about global warming and things like that i mean i've just listened to greta thunberg's last speech now and she said there isn't any technology available to re um, reverse the effects of co2 and we need to drastically change our lives lifestyles to reverse or limit our carbon footprint on the earth well that is a bunch of baloney there is technology out there that can reduce the amount of CO2 out there, such as hydrogen cars. But very likely the same people that own these um, big oil companies and capitalism and all those things are the very same people that complain about. They fund the very same people that f that complain about global warming and stuff like that. And that is because that is how the cabal and the deep state and the Illuminati works. They just fund both sides of the competition so that they can control the outcome at the end of the day. They make it look like somebody's out there fighting for our causes while we just sit back and let them fight the battles for us. Well, actually, they are not fighting for us. They're just a mouthpiece for the same people that want to continue abusing us and pushing up the prices and pushing up our access and our autonomy to things that we need to live free and be and have our being. So God wants us to take authority so that we can have access to more things through faith when we take up our God-given dominion in this earth. To do that we need to realize that God has given us authority in the first place. We are not just serfs and servants of the government. Government is not God. We need to push back against the idea that the government can dictate to us everything that we must do. Now authority is good. We need to obey authority when it is reasonably expected of us to do so. We should not be rebellious at heart and at nature. But when government overreaches their 
their sphere of influence, when they grab power more than they should, we should learn to know that in a godly way we can push back against it. And we do not need to give them more authority through our ignorance. And by saying yes to every single thing that they propose to us to do. When something is wrong and we know it is wrong. And that is for things like pushing the lockdowns. When there are millions and billions of people who do not have COVID. Yet they must sit in their homes and be deprived of having a full life. And exercising their God-given dominion. It is Satan's desire to make us believe that we do not have something when we actually do. God has told us to go out and exercise our God-given authority and our dominion. And yet Satan makes us feel ashamed when we do so. Satan makes us feel ashamed when we use our God-given rights to free speech autonomy and bodily integrity and stuff like that are we supposed to feel ashamed for not taking the vaccine when we know that god has given us an immune system to fight the disease now if you feel that you are immunocompromised and you really can't fight this disease on your own then take whatever it is that they want to give you me not taking it is not going to increase your risk at all so I just wanted to sh shed that off of my heart. But the main thing is that we need to start learning to push back against big government. Because big government happens when people shift their responsibility onto the government. And then, then, then we end up getting socialism where we have to do all the hard work and others can sit back and enjoy the benefits. That is how it works in socialism. And socialism is not a godly con construct. Everybody has responsibility in the kingdom of heaven. Heaven is not a place where people just sit and float on uh, clouds and play the harp and shoot arrows. Heaven is a place where people serve each other, where people love each other, where people take responsibility. And people, um, people actually do things for each other. Heaven is probably the most busiest place in the entire galaxy. Yet Satan wants to make it look like it's a place where everything gets done for us. We, Yes, God is, Jesus Christ is the greatest servant of all. He said that, that if you want to be the greatest of all, you must become the servant of all. And Jesus basically did that by laying down his life for us. And he is now even in heaven preparing a place for us. So that we can dwell with him and be with him. If we are found to be fa in faith with him. So if you go to heaven. You will have a place that is prepared for you. You don't have to toil hard for it. You don't have to struggle and strive for it. But yet heaven is still a place where people love each other. Where people have time to discover the beauty of life. Nothing is driven. Nothing is pushed. But yet people are still busy serving each other and loving each other. And absolutely having a wonderful time and, and having a purpose and having a plan.